Hi everyone, this is Kathleen Deontiveros and today we are at How to Make Paper Beads Part 2. This I will show three different ways to roll the paper beads. One of them we will be making a homemade paper bead roller. Very, very inexpensive and with nothing but paper clips and some tape. So, very affordable for everyone to be able to make that if they cannot buy the bead roller. This bead roller I bought online for $10. Uh, just do a search and see if it comes up. They have some at Target, some at Amazon, some at some discount booksellers. So I highly recommend this. The other method is using a toothpick. I have made hundreds of beads using just toothpicks. It was difficult on my fingers though. My fingers did get very tired, but I do have arthritis, which is why I did the search and purchased the bead roller. After thinking about it, and not everybody has access to either the $10 or to buy the bead roller, maybe you're in a part of the world that you can't get it, how else could we be able to roll these beads without using a toothpick? And I thought about it and discovered that paper clips would work. So here I've taken two paper clips, and I'm going to show you real quick with this set right here. I'm going to use two different colors so that you can see what I'm doing. I just took the paper clip and I opened it up, straightened it just like so. Did the same to the second paper clip, opened it up, straightened it up just like so. And now I'm going to line them up as best as I can. I'm going to open this part of it up, get these out of the way, so I'm going to open it up so they look like that, and I'm going to take my tape, and I'm going to cut off a good amount of the tape, a couple inches at least, very carefully line up my paper clips so that they're even, I want them to be as even as I can get them. And now I'm just going to take my tape and start winding it around to hold them in place. And I want these to be side by side. Wind the tape around the two paper clips. Form your handle in a comfortable position. I like to have it bent just like that. And you want these to be close together. As you can tell by looking at the store-bought one that this is two little metal rods next to each other. The paper slides in between the metal rod. I'm going to do the print side goes down. Slide the paper just like that in between. I don't want it all the way to the end because then it doesn't seem to catch. So I have a little bit sticking out right there. Slowly start to turn the handle and just keep turning until my paper bead has been completed. When I get close to the end, I pinch it with these fingers, pull it off, grab the bead between my other fingers, and I pinch it to try and get all the layers even, just like that. And then I'll take a dab of glue. I'm using my matte medium because this is my preferred product. And also what I have on hand. Little dab of matte medium. Wipe the extra off. Roll the bead around. I like a little bit of the matte medium or the glue on the outside to make sure that this lays down nice and flush. And then put that bead away to dry. Okay. Now I'm going to show you using our new tool that we just made with our paper clip. I'm going to take a piece of our paper and again print side goes down. 
and I'm going to slide that in between the two paper clips almost to the end and then I'm just going to start rolling and I'm not going to make it super tight because I want to be able to pull it off of the paper clip when I'm finished and just like with the store-bought bead roller I will just keep twisting the paper try to keep it on top of each other so it's even at the sides if you can but just twist it all the way up until you run out of paper and this is much easier on my fingers than using the toothpick method my hand does not get as tired as the, with the toothpick. When I'm finished, I just pull it off. I pinch the bead between my fingers to give it a little bit more round shape, make the sides even. And then I grab my matte medium and I glue it shut. smoothing the outsides and so there's our bead here's the bead that we made with the store-bought roller right here in this hand here's the bead I made with the paper clip in this hand so very good product to have and you made it just with two paper clips and a piece of tape the third way that we can roll the bead is with our toothpick and this for me is a little bit more difficult and I'm a bit out of practice from using toothpicks so we'll see how this goes place the toothpick paper with your printed side down if you're using a print and you're just gonna tuck the paper as close to the toothpick as you can get and you're gonna start rolling and it's a little difficult sometimes to get started but once you get started then it's a lot easier and you just continue to roll it you just roll the paper up trying to keep it the edges neat and on top of each other if you can and go slow until you get the hang of it once you get the hang of doing this you can roll them quite quickly There we go, almost as fast as the store-bought roller. Again, we're gonna take our glue, glue our edges. Pinch it with your fingers. Make sure everything's nice and neat. And there we go, there's our bead made with our toothpick. And there's the other bead we made with our homemade paper paper bead roller and there's the bead we made with the store-bought roller so they're all the same interchangeable so there is three ways that you can roll your paper beads a store-bought method using the toothpick and our homemade paper bead roller using our paper clips thank you blessings to all and I will see you again soon